here my good friend and partner in crime from Starkiller Base, John Gobel. Hey guys, it's John here from Starkiller Base. Yeah, I, uh, I uh, just came off of a fresh loss on stream. I'm sure you guys saw it. It was wonderful. <laughs> After I lost the uh, the seventh sister in the in the third game, there, Philippe and I are friends, so I was having a we were joking around a bit there because I knew that. I mean, you can GG, but you never know, right? That's right. It's the top four. You don't just sweep and go home. <laughs> you sweep and uh, come commentate. So, hey. <laughs> exactly. It's the right choice. So, we got uh, Kylo Ren, uh, Elite Anakin against uh, Qui-Gon and Elite Yoda. Which uh, matchup do you think has the slight advantage in this in this it's, instance? It's a tough call. Um, Kylo, I mean, it's basically, the deck is basically mono blue, right? Like, there's two Rens and that's it. Right. And Philippe is going to... He's going to call blue all the time, because why not? Um, interesting fact is that uh, Steven was the only person that beat Philippe in the Swiss. That's uh, important. So yeah. the thing is, the Qui-Gon Yoda deck can generate so many shields that they can basically just nullify Kylo's ability to some degree, and it makes Maul Saber a lot tougher. But I mean, they've got so much damage, they can they can strip them off pretty well. Um, interesting to, known, to note that... Uh, Steven deck, Steven's deck has only two gray cards. Mm -hmm. Everything else is blue. That's right. And it's interesting in the Toronto and Hamilton regional, the, the deck list was pretty similar. Um, they had, they didn't have the Abinds All Things. They had Guard instead, and they've taken Guard out in this list because apparently they found it wasn't very useful in the, the regionals. Uh, I don't, I mean, obviously, the binds all things is working, but turn two. I mean, turn one double it binds all things is is ridiculous. It's a really strong play, yeah. especially with Yoda. I mean, you you practically don't need the economy when you're running Yoda, but I mean, obviously, the addition of them is working. Philippe runs them as well, and uh, I played a game in, in testing, and he had double it binds against me, and he just ripped my face off with it because he basically just <laughs> could play a three cost and a mitigation every turn. We see here that Yoda's already at three damage, and uh, it's very early on, but as you mentioned, it binds on things, provides the economy that you need to play all your upgrades yes. so early on. Turn one, basically, both of them. That's big. Well, here's the thing I, I found with the deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I played against Steven like f four games in the uh, Hamilton Regional, and I found that I if you kill Yoda first, it actually works better. Because Yoda, I mean, especially if you can kill him early, because it takes away the economy. Of course, the Binds All Things is going to fix that. But the thing is, you're getting rid of three upgrade slots as well. Right. And, you know, you're also getting rid of the consistency that Yoda provides to, to Qui-Gon's dice. Although, when you roll like that, apparently you don't need it. That's, <laughs> There's that's four damage, damage there. Yeah. One thing that I think has been interesting about Philippe playing uh, today is he actually plays overconfidence. And then he'll use, like my die, one of his dice and one of my dice, he did it, I, I called it in game three when he did it too. Um, and he's done it, he did it to me earlier and it's, it's interesting because you can just play the odds, right? Like, you know, with my seven sister, there was a two. He rolled in a one, so as long as I don't roll the two, then he can remove my die and keep his and he got a free reroll of it. Interesting way um, of die, uh, playing cards for die removal. Yeah, I don't I don't know that it's the, the best use of overconfidence because you could take two of your opponent's dice that are showing something reasonable, re-roll them both and get rid of one of them. Um, but I guess but if your die is showing bad, you can fix it. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense if it's your last card mm. because you get sort of get a re-roll out of it as well. But So we have here getting a resource. So Yoda's already at five damage here, Yeah, which is pretty great. Oh, I see, yeah. So he was going to disrupt the resource so he couldn't do the oh, two. Discard, the discard close quarters. And Interesting, you he didn't use the, the disrupt because he could have easily... He's done. got a resource showing on Kylo, so he could just take it anyway. Mm. <coughs> so in case you can't see in the glare there, yeah, he, he probably should have. Um, in case you can't see in the glare, that's Obi-Wan's hut, obviously. Oh, yeah. I would have re-rolled because you've got two blanks and a and a Kyler with a one. I mean, it's kind of a shame, but <coughs> especially with the uh, you know you know the discard's coming, so, so he takes the dollar and then gets rid of the dollar. Claims. And of course, the thing is, if if Philippe can get uh, ahead of Steven in this and get claims in and get his own shields and also keep the shields off of Qui Gon, which could potentially be doing a damage every claim, then it's huge. he's gonna get a good start. So. Um, I think that if I mean if it if the double binds wasn't out and Yoda died this turn, 
I think Stephen would be in, in a world of hurt. Um, I still think, obviously, Yoda needs to die this turn, but um, Qui-Gon with the double binds will be doing all right, I think. I mean, Yoda still provides you the shields, right? So in some way, he's still efficient. Double blanks. I agree, guys in the chat there. Yeah, it's it's this is going well for uh, Philippe. Definitely. Six, seven, eight damage. And do you see a force illusion or anything on Steven's hand? No, nothing. The thing is with with Philippe's deck, there's not a lot of um, excuse me, modified sides. So force illusion is just it's it's like force illusion on on both sides of this matchup. You play against Qui Gon with force illusion, and it's like you should have just discarded to reroll because it's going to save you like one or two hit points until the mall saber or, or one of the rare modified sides comes out in these decks force illusion will stop two i mean and you know it means you're not dead it's good so we see a lightsaber pull for a shoto yep so qui-gon's going to do some uh, some interesting stuff here remove shields gain shields and yep. can rolls in those blanks though oh yep there's the double Shoto, which means Qui-Gon can take two shields. Would you have done the two after he rolls in? Maybe? I'm sorry? Would you have uh, resolved the two melee bef after No, he the in? thing is, force based direction is a thing, so if he leaves the two out and re-rolls and hits all melee, then if Qui-Gon is in with a melee side like that Shoto, then it's just all gone. Mm. And, I mean, it takes a couple actions to do it, but, uh, you know. But definitely a reroll here. Trouble blanks is, is no good. Yeah, it can't get any worse. So it looks like he took a shield and then pinged. Or I guess he could have removed the shield, whatever. So there's Blinds the binds. things turn two. Not as good as turn one, but still good enough. Mm-hmm. It's better. It means a three cost a turn if you want. Mm. There's six That's damage juicy, there. That's yeah. pretty good. Philippe has no money. But he's got doubt. Doubt on the, on the plus two is a good choice because you can't resolve most of the sides by itself. So Kylo at f five damage is not too bad, but that, uh, there you go. The uh, the Shoto and the, the Qui-Gon die could be a lot better, obviously. Would you discard to reroll right here? I would discard to reroll if I was fleet, but it depends on what you've got in your hand too, though, right? Well, we got uh, Ancient, we got um, he Heirloom, and oh, he discards the Heirloom, okay. Interesting. And sometimes it's a tough choice, mm. but the heirloom's a three. I mean, the heirloom would be okay because you could overwrite the uh, cross guard when Kyla's about to die, which oh, that's unfortunate. is really soon. That's a lot of damage. Uh, he was a uh, okay. Two shields, a shield. <coughs> you think he will claim, or he would try to go for? Well, he has a lightsaber pull, but he's already fully decked out, yeah. That's the thing, Qui-Gon's not... Uh, Qui-Gon will get better... Well, uh, arguably, Qui-Gon may not get better because shoulders are just so good for him. They can, they can effectively, you know, when... Uh, sorry, when Kylo 2 rolls in and does 2, Qui-Gon rolls in and gets 2, right? That's right. So, That's right. However, cross guards do... Th the special on the cross guard does, does 3 damage if the character has shields. So it's sort of like a cheaper villain not as good uh, a poor version poor yeah man poor man's version, version of of the uh, light bow <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's excellent on kylo too <laughs> he we're gonna roll in see what well he, he can he can alpha kylo too here mm. Mm, or he could get more money than god apparently <laughs> <laughs> that's right play that big five cost re five cost upgrade is there one five cost? I there actually is, oh, but there. it's red. Mm. It's a ridiculously large gun. Oh, like a cannon type of thing? Yeah, it has one range, two range, three range, four range, five range, I think, and a blank. And you can use an action to turn it from one side to the side that has one more damage than it. <laughs> I'm guessing now that Quagon's fully decked out, that binds of things don't really do much? Yes. So we do uh, Shoto triggers was one damage to Kylo, one, one shield on Qui-Gon. He forgot the Shoto triggers. He's got two shields. I don't, I don't well, think he forgot uh, Kylo's at six now instead of five. Hmm, yeah. Blue. So there goes qui -Gon shields, which are pretty good when Qui-Gon's got a two shield either. Yeah, I'm really questioning that uh, heirloom discard. Yeah. I mean, you may have been in a tough spot, but I mean... 
like six hit points, and, and Kylo's uh, gonna wish he had some redeploy. Philippe also has a uh, fear of anger, so. There's some synchronicity, so he's up to eight. He's got four hit points remaining. Would you trigger Ancient Lights ever, or would you first resolve it and then trigger it, thinking. Well, oh, he, he's not one shot away from being dead. Okay, so, so he's still got a chance. Yeah, doing three damage to Quagmire wouldn't be bad. But he chose uh, to activate Anakin instead. That's an interesting choice. I would have done the well, three, three damage. He doesn't have any cards left, so if he wants to reroll, he wants to reroll big. But the question is, he, like, he's got two dollars. So there's some trust your instincts. He got two dollars, which means he can probably play some die control. I think I see a Force Illusion in Philippe's hand there. Um, that is a that's a good reroll. Roll. But it's not lethal if he puts a Force Illusion out. But it'll take up almost all of his dice. So we got. I think he. Oh, overconfidence, okay. That'll help. <laughs> Except for one problem. There goes Kylo. Yeah, I would have. Because of the god roll. I, 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 may, I may have missed the Force Illusion. It might have been a. Well, you want to try to keep him alive, right? But yes, I mean that's three damage. Resolve, put the force solution down, and I don't. I'm not sure he had. Oh, I'm not sure he had the force solution. It might have been over. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. I, I would thought have, I would have played he played it. the overconfidence. I thought might have been it, but yeah, like that heirloom discard is looking pretty bad right about now, sadly. However, there's four more damage, so not bad. Well, two if Kylo, if Qui Gon takes his shields there. The Kylo triggers for the spawning of blue. Uh, yes, that's gonna. That's gone. gonna be. This can be a downhill, an uphill battle now because the Shotos are firing and Anakin can do like, without upgrades, he's only doing two damage a turn probably mm -hmm. versus the shields there. Unbreakable removes the special. And he had to pay. Is that a pay side? Yeah, I can't yeah, actually see it. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> hmm? I believe it was a card. I don't know if that's the right one. Oh. He was just discarding. No, he played it. Well, I didn't think he had shields. He doesn't, no, but he, re re he resolved the special. Oh. El Rathian in chat was asking what happened here. And in case you walked away for two seconds, uh, Qui Gon rolled in lethal, and instead of playing Force Illusion, which would have kept him alive, he played Overconfidence on the Heirloom and the plus two on the Shoto, and he re rolled and hit oh my the. Oh he hit the three on the Heirloom, which was exactly lethal, and it was Qui Gon's action next, so he killed him. He killed Qui Gon. Uh, Kylo. I mean, there was only a one in six chance that he was going to die, but like, if you can guarantee that you're not going to die by playing Force well. Illusion, yeah, I would have uh, do the Force Illusion and then pop the Ancient. I would I would dealt three damage, pop the Ancient back to my hand, then Force Illusion. It would still be alive. But, yeah. Or force but again, the, that uh, that heirloom saber that he discarded. <coughs> yeah. Because again, he never got to resolve those dice, so they're mm -hmm. effectively dead die. Yep, exactly. And I mean, like, at most, Anakin naked here is going to do four damage, and Qui Gon can stop mm -hmm. two of it with. Never mind. <laughs> this is uh, yeah. The the, the Castle solid. brothers have been playing this deck for months. Apparently, it's really interesting because. One of them lives in uh, Hamilton, and one of them lives in Peterborough, which is like two and far, two yeah. hours apart. Uh, Stephen here is the one from Peterborough, and he has like a two or three man meta out there. I I don't know if he plays on TTS or not, but he's obviously practicing a lot. They were both here for regionals last. So yeah, both of the brothers were here for regionals last week, and yes, uh, his brother Daniel won. Yeah, they, they both play this. Deck. Yeah, they both play more or less the same list. Um, Steven was King of Swiss at Hamilton and came in second and lost to Matt Cosino playing Sabine Yoda at, at Hamilton Regional. And then Steven's brother Daniel won uh, the, ha the, sorry, the Toronto Regional with the same deck. All those upgrades that Anakin doesn't have. Yes, unfortunately, the Ganondorf in chat is uh, saying that, uh, you know, he's, that Philly's mistake was pretty brutal, and it, I think it was too. I mean... Again, it was a one in six, but I mean, if you if you can guarantee, guarantee that you don't die, yeah. versus you know have a one in six chance of not dying, you're gonna you should take the guarantee, and then you can. Uh, he had two resources. He could have he could have done or mm -hmm. confidence again after a reroll or something. Do so. you care about the one damage, or do you claim two guarantee to go first? 
You claim because it gives you a shield, which is effectively the same as taking as, mm. as stopping oh. damage. He's it's it's, he's it's yeah. Philippe is conceding because yeah. he doesn't see a way out. Well, it's it's just a matter of playing another fifteen minutes before, or or two minutes depending mm. on the rolls to for uh, Qui Gon to finish him off there. But yeah, that was uh, Qui- uh, the Kylo dying. There was a big turnaround when I was playing against. <laughs> Uh, Daniel uh, at the Hamilton Regional I was playing Poela and I managed to play an all-in and kill Qui-Gon and it just his whole board just fell apart he had like naked Yoda against Poela and Qui-Gon was dead lost two Shotos big swings like that are rough what type of halftime adjustment do you think Philippe has to do against Steven I'm I'm pretty sure that he knows his mistake and uh, he's gonna fix and also keep in mind that because Philippe lost to Steven in the Swiss there could be some mind games going on. Sure. So it's definitely a test of mental strength. It's also, we got here like 14 hours ago. No. That's also true. 13 hours ago. And Philippe is running on fumes. Almost. Five hours of sleep, something like that. Yeah. He, he's a machine. He The last two days, he, he's he been hanging out at my place, staying in the basement. <coughs> and my, my buddy Greg, who uh, lives around here, was another binds. There we go. Oh. Turn one, binds all things. Here we there go. There we go. Um, and Philippe was testing like five, six hours a day with, with Greg, just trying different decks. He didn't even settle on the uh, Kylo Anakin until probably an hour and a half before going to sleep last night. And that's actually my Anakin <laughs> and my cross cards. So <laughs> I lent him the cards that beat me, which is uh, a little bittersweet. Yep. Two damage to Yoda, trying to take out Yoda. Is he going for Yoda? Point. Yeah, he's going for Yoda. Which I mean, is the right call, I, I feel. It. I want to say that it worked last game. Even though he Except lost, the, it was yeah, still right mistakes, call. Yeah. So Yoda is showing a two focus and a disrupt, which could be important in regards with the resource. That well, is if Philippe has a two cost upgrade in here, he should probably play it yeah. now. With it. Or just. Just overconfidence. There we go. Yoda's die uh, from overconfidence is usually a one or a zero. Kyle's got two two sides, and Philippe can actually. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So they both hit twos, wow. which is good. That's, that's interesting. Well, the double focus is pretty rough, and I mean, if he rolls a special or something like that, it's gonna go away. So. But now he has no way of actually. That's a nice roll. Well, he's got hidden motives and uh, yep, yeah, and doubts and stuff like that. He always have outs. See? So shouldn't you res- Oh he, no, he calls melee yeah. and he rerolls and he has a fifty fifty shot of hitting melee and removing the die. And unfortunately he didn't remove it. Oh my god, he is wow. wow. That's 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 rough. That's the destiny can be frustrating like that. That's basically what happened in my game three. That's a pretty good roll. But uh oh, trading hits is pretty tough. That's seven. So Kyla has five. I mean He's still not even half dead, but that's a that's a tough hit to take. It is. And there's two pay sides on those melee sides, I think. So it looks like he enrages. Well, he's definitely gonna hit back for six, so it's not over yet. No, I'll hit back for four because he's got two pay sides. All right, one of them is taken. Yeah. I'm not sure what's in his sure. hand, but I go for I go for a reroll on uh, Kylo's dice probably. He's Are there better sides? He's oh got yeah, because one melee, two, two melee. Yeah. So, or maybe you know you do a reroll on the one Kylo die, and then you've got if you hit the the uh, resource, then you can you know there's two melee sides and a resource. I think Steven claimed yeah. Steven wow, claimed. Yeah, he was getting beat up. Of course, I'd rather lose. My oh, secondary he character. An, he had another in range. Oh, there you go, yeah. How do you put the damage on, though? I don't see it. I mean, oh, he's he got, got to be an Anakin. Yeah. <coughs> Here's the thing, though. Philippe is killing his secondary character, and he's killing Philippe's primary character. So I think from now on, you, you just unless it's a cross guard, you just got to play it out on, on Anakin. Because, uh, like the, they were saying, the chat, out of you, no, you know that he's going to try to kill Kylo because Kylo's doing two damage a turn. 
So put all the upgrades on Anakin. Anakin's got eight hit points left. Kylo has seven. I mean, I guess it's not that far off, but if you kill An if you kill Kylo, you're getting rid of the upgrades and the ability. Mm. That's bad news. Yeah, we saw how rough the naked Anakin was last week. Exactly, game. and I mean, you gotta you gotta use that redeploy. All right, so time to pick and all three. Let's see where he finally, puts finally has an upgrade. If he puts a okay, okay. that's that's really well. Kind of dangerous. I was gonna say if he played a cross guard on Kylo, he could do a damage to Yoda, and the next action when he rolls in, he could kill Yoda if he when he hits the blue. But I'm getting worried. This oh my! Oh plus wow. two, plus three. What's that last time? Wow. That's lethal, no? Ridiculous. That is seven. That's that's exactly lethal. Yes. Does and Philippe just spent all his money. Thankfully, he has a doubt in there. So he gets to do one, which is not quite lethal, but. Yoda's shields could ping him to death, potentially. So he's at six. So he'll have two hit points left. Yoda's, you could use his specials to, well. Did he forget uh, the Shoto again? Looks like. I, did he forget the trigger? And it doesn't have a shield on Qui-Gon. That's true. That's and, important. And for the big damage. Yeah, I, yeah. And with Maul Saber, that's even more important. And with the finals? Uh, well, if you do, if, if Qui-Gon does four to Kylo, Kylo has two hit points left. If if he hit a shield on Qui-Gon, Yoda's specials could ping and finish him off. I agree, Elrathian, uh, in chat. Uh, he, Elrathian is saying that he shouldn't put all... Like, all saber on Kylo is is a probably not a good choice mm, when Kylo's almost dead. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he's one and there's away. a double focus right there. Yeah. Resolve the double focus, make it... A plus two, or a two on, on Qui-Gon, and a, I don't know, Yoda special or something, just in case he didn't die. And then, GG, I mean, if if Philippe doesn't have an heirloom in there, he's screwed. He had an heirloom. There's an heirloom there, but, I mean... Yeah, okay. Like, there goes... There goes Kylo. That's rough. <laughs> wow. Anakin's got a fighting chance to That's kill Yoda. Too? Kylo done? Yeah, this is not going well for Philippe. I would have given, and he didn't even, oh, he rolled in Kylo, never mind. Uh, I would have given Philippe the advantage here, but this is not looking good. And Anakin is... And there's no, there's no money for he's Anakin. Got, he's got a two. He's No, no, but... Uh, he got Yoda dead. Fully loaded. At, fully at least Anakin has button. a chance. Anakin has a chance here with this heirloom. Last game when he didn't have the heirloom, he's toast. I mean, I'd definitely do a reroll. Because, uh, I mean, you're. If not, you're leaving. Either reroll or claim. You're, you're leaving damage out on the board, potentially. What's really interesting is that uh, Philippe never seemed to have uh, money with resources when, <laughs> when he was playing against me. So, with the CQA in hand, I don't know if his other card is a. A villain card or not, but you, you should probably discard the CQA because it's a neutral. If you hit the special on Anakin, you can do something with it if the other card's villain. If it's not, you just basically have to reroll. So we, t we see two Rens and a, I think it was an OB Saber in, in hand there. Oh, he claim uh, Steven claimed and pinged Anakin. Oh, for speed. To reroll. Hey. You can't discard a neutral and do anything. Mm, no, but Anakin's, it was a blue. Anakin's special is dead. You no, know, it's it's if it's a villain card, it does two damage. If mm. it's an if it's a hero card, it does two shields. If it's a neutral, it does nothing. It's gonna be it's uphill. Definitely, it's definitely an uphill battle here. Okay, well he got an ancient uh, lightsaber for the healing. Sure. You never know, guys. I mean, when I was playing the Swiss today, I had eight damage on my seven sister turn two against uh, Yoda Hondo, and I managed to do some shenanigans and pull off a rise again and do an ancient heal, and I was back down to like one hit point and two shields the, the next turn. Double Shoda. Oh, I mean, those would be good plays on Qui Gon, but mm -hmm. it depends on the mitigation that, that uh, Philippe's got in hand, but. The uh, feel your anger, animals. maybe. There's only one blank. There's no point. But I mean, he's showing. <laughs> it's not over. 
Yeah. Oh, hit the double. Oh, double oh, shoulders. Maybe, shoulder, right? maybe it is over then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice the second shoulder. So Quagga has no damage on him at all, and he's basically taking away two damage a turn and has mitigation. So yeah, this can be really tough, particularly with Anakin's dice, which are not so good. So Qui Gon is basically. To death, yeah. I can't tell. If, I think it's just two shields. Yeah, he's two. Kusui. So. Yeah, I know. I, I, there's a shadow on it. I couldn't tell if it was two or, or one. Now, is that really like I would have played the ancient lightsaber to a guaranteed heal too? Because here's just pinging one, pinging one, pinging one. Anakin has a lot of pay sides, and he's gonna do some rerolling. And if, if like if he's got no mitigation, uh, then like don't play the ancient when you've already rolled in. You play the four solution because when he rolls four damage, which is lethal, and it's all modified because of the shotos, you can survive. <laughs> Typically, it's not uh, Force Luge is not very good in, against the Quagga matchup because the aside from Shoto's and the Ancient side, there isn't any modified. But I think I think you still need to do it. I mean, the Shoto's only have uh, one unmodified melee side, so and they're they're showing a decent damage. So don't reroll. That's four. I mean, yeah, pop it. You gotta do it. Force illusion is uh, is tough sometimes when you're just about to kill somebody, but such is life. Discard to rule, maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. Anakin and the and the heirloom all have three damage sides. Oof. That's not that miss that's for sure. No. Wow. He must have something good in his hand if he's really ancient. Lightsaber pull? I don't know what he's doing. Why do the just get pull? It's very interesting. Qui Gon claimed. Well, I mean, like you've got three big, reasonably big dice with big damage size, so I don't know what he needs the two for. Maybe taking a resource, he's pulling for a rise again and get a mall saber out. Does he nope, play rise again? Wow. I guess he's just trying to get the money to heal because he knows that. But I mean, that's like you're resolving so much damage or so much damage potential worth of dice to put up the ancient heal two and the two is going to go right back on when Qui-Gon rolls in so this is rough I mean the the uh, four dice he had I out I don't even think Philippe plays rice again I'm not sure if he had one then it would have been a huge mistake to play that heirloom mm. so I'm assuming he doesn't because he if he had six damage on him he had three resources he was going to go to five no no rice again no, no rice again it's not. A, it's an aggressive deck. Philippe's deck, when he plays, it's basically just. Oh. He has. He has a uh, fear your anger. Does he? He has any hand. He has any hand. He has any hand. You're very excited about that. There oh, it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. He has wow. to play. Wow. He has to Dude, play. If you roll in, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> he has to play. Absolutely. If he there, doesn't, there's no way it's he a play won't. Mistake. There's no way he won't do this. He's taking the damage. Oh, thank you. So leave a Shoto out and get rid of everything else. Why Shoto? Because the Shoto has like one resolvable damage side. Mm -hmm. He's got a no mercy in hand there. I mean, this could be decent if he rolls well. He could win it. He really needs it too. And the thing about the no mercy is that you don't really see it coming. Mm -hmm. So if Qui Gon's like, oh, I've, no I've got five costs. damage, it costs two, and you discard discard blue cards from your hand to increase it. But I think he's, he's only got a couple of cards, so he'll have to play it out next turn. At least he played the ancient before rolling in. He knows he has an out here, but I mean, he's gonna have like two hit points left once Quagga rolls in next turn. Mm, I don't like the pace sides. Double blanks on. Uh, there's an overconfidence. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to get through this mitigation on Quagga's side. I mean, he's got 12 hit points. <laughs> Unbreakable. Boom. That's rough. So I think I see. Are those? I can't tell if those are pay sides or not. Anakin, the Anakin. They are, they're both pay sides. Yeah. There you go. And the problem with running No Mercy with Anakin is that it's counter. Uh, wow, I'm tired. <laughs> it doesn't work well with his special, because his special is you have to discard a card in order to uh, do damage, and then you got one less card in your hand, so you don't want to. You don't, don't really want to get both. Do you discard to see if you can get the heirloom? More damage on the heirloom. There's a hidden motive in there and. I don't know what the other card is. Is it No Mercy? Uh, it's like, um, Does it cost two? Green. 
Oh, that's frightened. It's not. There's no no mercy in there. He runs it in his deck, but there's five damage. He's on the board here. So that's good because that means he's only gonna take one damage from the Shotos unless Qui Gon oh, claims first. Yeah, I mean he's so far behind right now. I mean, fright wouldn't be bad, but. <coughs> I understand Philippe's frustration with... Oh, God. <laughs> There's another ancient good times. <laughs> Did he just resolve the arrow? Oh, I see. He was fast enough ahead that he got both shields off of it. Interesting. And the old beast when he's clear damage. Well, he doesn't have any shields, so... <laughs> so Qui-Gon is now full health and can take two shields rolling in. So this is uh And it's important to know this that is pre -pain. lightsaber, the special will deal unblockable damage based on yep. the amount of shields you got. So exactly. Which is about to be two rough. and then uh, a third from the un from the obese special. I mean he's got Philippe's got some decent mitigation in the deck, but this is uh It's <laughs> pretty rough, yeah. That's not... He needs a decent roll. Yeah, like, you saw that You saw that damage he rolled against me in game three. Where is that damage? It's not here. But it's important to get in ahead of Qui-Gon, so you can't be... Uh, oh, dear. There's that. It's important to get ahead of Qui-Gon, so it doesn't just blow your, your turn out with a, a force misdirection if he rolls melee. Now, do you discard to re-roll and see if you can get something better? Now that he hasn't he, rolled in yet? Steven's got $3 and a handful of cards. you got to resolve the three. I mean, the, you can reroll the other stuff later. Will he remember his shadows? I'm saying it quietly because <laughs> yeah. they're like 20 feet away. Yeah. Yep. So take a shield, remove a shield. Now he can do, I mean, he basically has almost had lethal on the board by taking those shields. So the ancient's got to go. And that's why he resolved it first as well, right? Instead of rerolling. Yeah, that's a problem. So Synchronicity is for one. Synchronicity right? is two. So right now with the dice that he has showing, he has nine. He'll have he can get to Anakin up to nine damage out of ten without rerolling. Unless he's got if he's got another synchronicity, it's already over pretty much. kind of amazed that, I don't know, Philippe was, was having a good run all day. The only deck that stopped him is this one. But I mean, the shields and the mitigation. It's not like he's playing bad, it's just the rolls are going for him, right? Take by the shields. No, he's not, he's not playing bad. Well, it may be that his fundamental design of putting everything on Kylo is flawed. I mean, Against this matchup. It doesn't matter who. I mean, everyone's trying to kill your main character first. If you put all your stuff on your main character and none of it has redeploy, then what's going to happen? You're going to, you know, you know. I play a seven sister deck. Guess what happened when seven sister dies? The deck falls apart. That's right. So that's lethal that's showing. Lethal. He has to use the. No, it doesn't matter because Qui Gon will just kill him with a roll on next turn. Here comes the doubt. I, I'm not sure that he has any outs. Like, if he rolled a shield, that, oh, he doesn't have any shields. Yeah, that's it. So there we go. Steven Cassell goes 2-0. and And he is now the uh, new Canadian national champion taking the, the uh, crown away from John Chan.